Under this mysterious case is an estate fresh singer Slinomatic 500A the Rocketeer in excellent excellent um, cherry condition um, it still has lots and lots of shine on the paint my husband's laughing at me um, lots and lots of shine on the paint everywhere including the lid lots and lots of shine it's hard to see in this light maybe I can get some reflection going you see the reflection along the top of the lid and maybe over here you can see the needle bar reflected in the paint there excellent condition the machine has the receipt included where it was purchased brand new in 1968 for $89.95 um, it has the original double layer accessory box full of all the original accessories including the ruffler, hammer foot, zipper foot, binder, large screwdriver, small screwdriver, lint brush, five cams, the straight stitch plate, packet needles, button sewing foot, gathering foot, straight stitch foot, special purpose foot, seam guide, and bobbins. I am including two plastic bobbins and two vintage metal bobbins. And if you do not have access to vintage metal bobbins, I suggest you use plastic because the new metal bobbins that you purchase have a protruding center ring that will bind your bobbin case. So please use plastic if you don't have vintage metal. It does come in the original carrying case with the extended base. Gives you a little more room to work here. Of course it has the front drop in class 66 bobbin and under this little top panel is where it all happens. Your cam goes here, your bobbin and winder is here, which was on, so that was weird. Um, your spring-loaded spool pins, which both of them go down when your top lid goes down, and also the very hard to find third spool pin, which comes with the machine, so if you want to sew with your top panel closed, your third spool pin sits right there in the little hole on top of the top panel when it closes. When it's not being used, it's upside down, stores right there. Your eye level chart right here has all different kinds of stitch combinations. Um, most of the top hat cams that you purchase, their designs are already built in into the internal cam stack of this machine, just like the 401A. Um, you make your designs by different letter combinations using the two knobs on the front. And I'm going to show you some designs and patterns. Let's run back up here. This is an excellent, excellent cosmetic condition machine. If you're looking for a near perfect machine, it's really not going to get much more perfect than this one. The inside is clean, and the outside is clean. And I am going to put pictures of the inside in the listing, the top and the bottom, so you can see how, just how clean it is inside. Okay. Build in light, of course. And then you can see the shine on the deck even more. Start with straight stitch. Your primary patterns, which are the ball stitch, the pyramid, the blind stitch, the box stitch, the multi-point zigzag, and the scallop stitch on the top row, are all um, adjustable in the width. You can adjust them from 0 to 5. The combination patterns, which are the patterns on the bottom side of the panel, all have to remain on a 3 width to be created. If you change your width at all, it will not create the stitch that you see on the chart. So it's kind of something to get used to, but once you remember that, You'll be fine. Big bag. And I'll 
we'll do one of the patterns. This is the pyramid. I'm just going to move one of our front knobs here. The pyramid stitch. Oh, and it does come with the original instruction manual, too. I forgot about that. And let's see, let's do a combination pattern, which means that it's one of the patterns that has to stay on the three width to be created. So we'll put it on there. It's a domino. Next, I'm going to do a... Um, cam pattern for you, and the cam that's in it is a diamond, or um, arrowhead. So, next is a cam pattern. All you need to do is put it back on B. A, B, and C is your needle position. A is left, B is center, C is right. Most patterns will be done with the B position. Go up to the special, which is your cam setting. Cam widths are adjustable. Then arrowhead. tension in a little bit there. Of course that depends on what fabric you're using also. So we're going to take it off the cam. We're going to go back to straight stitch. And do some stuff here. Seven layers of denim. This is an all metal gear driven machine. There are no belts. There are no plastic gears or parts. No belts to change. It's mm -hmm. gear driven. Seven layers of denim. Fourteen layers of cotton. do some stiff or sticky fabrics, you might want to invest in a walking foot. It makes it a little easier on your feed dogs and your motor. This is four layers of leather. And you can get a plant needle walking foot. Most likely on eBay. If you look. Four layers of leather straight through. Very nice. Is the Sigler 500A Slandomatic.